Um, my moral standard is superior to the character. Matter of fact, my moral standards are superior to the, the, almost any character in the Bible. Um, I have no problem with that. I've said it many times. I even explained it to Ray Comfort before. Um, I, you want, I could maybe rattle off a list of things that I might consider to be sins. Um, Matt hasn't killed anybody. I, How about that? I, yeah. I, I, I think that anybody <laughs> who advocates slavery, endorses slavery, is morally inferior. I think that anybody who advocates genocide and slaughter um, is morally inferior. I think that any, hang on, hang on. I think that anybody who advocates infinite punishment or infinite reward for finite crimes and, and deeds is morally inferior. I think that anybody who is supposedly omniscient and omnipotent and omnibenevolent who creates a system knowing that people are going to not be able to live up to his standards spends an eternity punishing them, or at least many thousands of years punishing them, trying to correct his mistakes over and over again. Sadistic. He creates Adam and Eve, they fail, he, he banishes them out of the garden, then there's the Tower of Babel, then there's the Flood, and then there's all the, well actually there's the Flood and then the Tower of Babel, sorry I got that backwards. It's failure after failure after failure after failure after failure, and then finally it culminates in the only loophole that the creator of all the laws of the universe can come up with. Why didn't he just forgive everybody or change the laws, but instead he has to create a loophole where he comes down bodily and sacrifices himself to himself himself to act as a loophole for a rule that he created. It's absurd. It is yeah. laughably absurd, and it's immoral. No, you're, you're not looking. You're, there, there, there are two entities. You, you have a fallen angel named Lucifer. That, and he's that, more powerful? That, what's that? He's more powerful? No, he's then not. Then why doesn't power. God get rid of him? Because God is not God's character. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, then we have yet another moral thing where I'm superior because we have another area where I'm morally superior because if I created a bunch of things and I wanted and I loved and cared about these people, but something else that I created was screwing up their lives, I'd get rid of it. That's in my character. That's morally correct. Your God's an ass. Okay. I, well, okay. Let, let me, let me, let me uh, say it in this light. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it's, it's, Okay, you, you have, say, my children. Let, let's just take my children, for, for instance, and, and then they are, or, you know, going out and committing uh, a, a crime. They join a gang and yeah. they go out and commit, commit a, a murder. Should I, as a father, say, you must go to prison? Yes. And do your time? Yes. Okay, then that's what Jesus no. is saying when no. he does that. No, you're, no, you got it kind of wrong. You, hang on, hang on. You got it kind of wrong. Um, if you're going to consider the children analogy, what what Jesus or your God has done is said that there are things that your children can do, not loving you being the primary one, which makes them deserve to be locked up in the basement and tortured forever.